Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Director James Gunn has shared another behind the scenes image from the Suicide Squad set, this time showing off Ratcatcher dolls with her stunt double. The Suicide Squad was praised by critics and fans upon its release earlier this year. Currently holding a 90% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, Gunn's addition to the DCU far surpasses its 2016 predecessor, directed by David Ayer, which comes in at a much less impressive 26% rating. The film saw a soft reboot of the infamous Task Force X, still under the control of Amanda Waller, Viola Davis. The Suicide Squad will come a whole host of new anti-heroes to the DCU. Characters returning from the first installment included Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie, Rick Flagg, Joel Kinnaman, and Captain Boomerang, High Courtney. Among the new additions, Ratcatcher 2's, Daniela Melchior, was perhaps one of the most memorable. Her kinder and less bloodthirsty demeanor made her a far more sympathetic to the audience than the rest of her anti-hero squad, as did her growing bond with teammates Bloodsport, Idris Elba, and King Shark, Sylvester Stallone. They were joined by the far less sympathetic peacemaker, John Cena, and Polka Dot Man, David Dasmalchian. Now, in the latest behind the scenes image shared by Gone on Instagram, fans have been treated to another look at Ratcatcher 2, this time alongside her stunt double, Katie Asian. Striking similar poses and standing directly opposite each other, the resemblance between Melchior and her double in the image is uncanny. Both women look suitably disabled in the image, covered in dust and seemingly prepared for some intense action scenes in the film's action-packed third act. Check out the post below. Click here to view the original post for many members of the Suicide Squad's Task Force X, both new and old, were cut down in the film, Ratcatcher does emerged as one of the lucky survivors. Despite early plans from Gone to have her character die at the end of the movie. Freed, however, temporarily, from under the thumb of Amanda Waller, her character now has the unique opportunity to blossom in the DCU. A largely obscure addition to the franchise, the narrative possibilities for Ratcatcher 2 are boundless. However, while her softer nature might make her more inclined toward the goodies of the universe, her burgeoning friendships with some of the C's most notorious criminals could instead find her pulled in the direction of Villainy. How Ratcatcher does will develop from the starting point given to her by Gong will be determined by her feature appearances. Though there are no guarantees Ratcatcher does will find herself returned to the Suicide Squad, Gong has admitted that they found the most enjoyment in writing for Melchior's character. It seems likely then that Gong will find a reason to return her to the franchise, should they, inevitably, once again work with DC. Regardless of Gong's involvement, however, Ratcatcher does has made her mark on the DC and is likely to grace screens again in the future, though the scale of her involvement may be up for debate. In the meantime, fans can check out Gong's social media for many, many more behind the scenes glimpses at DC's newest anti-heroes. Source, James Gone.